patina gel on metal coatings. In this video, we're going to show you the differences whether you use the patina gel or you don't with Tiffany Green on a vertical surface over metal coatings. So we're going to start with a hydrocal casting in a urethane mold. There's a lot of videos to show you how to do this portion of it, so we're just going to show you how to pour it in and then we can go from there. So the next day, we pulled this cast out for it ready to go. And we actually pulled it about an hour after we cast it, but we're using it the next day to ensure that it's nice and cooled down. So we're going to start with the primate. Now a question we get a lot is, do we need to use your primer, the Sculpt Nouveau primate? And the answer is yes, in most cases. So the main reason you want to use the primate is it is an acid resistant primer. And the importance to that is that the Tiffany Green is a mild acid. And if you don't use this acid resistant primer, it can have detrimental effects in the long run. So if you're doing this over steel, the Tiffany Green can work its way through the primer and through the metal coating and attach it onto the steel and affect it there. It's not as important when you go over hydrocal, wood, ceramic, uh, resin, all that stuff, but it is important to use the right product. And Sculpt Nouveau does know that its primer is compatible with its metal coating and therefore compatible with all of our products. So we will encourage you to use our primate um, for a multitude of reasons, That those two being two of them. But basically we're going to spray it on and I'm trying to wipe off the excess and I'm getting little hairs here and there because I'm using the cheapest brushes available to me. You can also spray it on, but I show it sprayed a lot. So here I'm just going to brush it on and I'm wiping some excess off so it stays a nice smooth surface. But however you get the primate on there, it's going to stick. So it's just a matter of making sure that you get it on there nice and coated and do two coats to ensure that you really have a good solid support. Now the third reason why I want you to use a primer rather than just using any old primer or, or really just skipping the primer entirely because the metal coating will stick to the surface. But the important thing to remember is Hydrocal is a very absorbent product. So when we go over with the metal coating without the primer, it will suck all the moisture out of the metal coating. So when you use a patina over it, it really doesn't have a fighting chance to get a really good reaction it will want to dry it out to make it so the metal coating doesn't have as much time. So the primer adds kind of like a, an extra layer. So the hydrocal is absorbing all that moisture in the primate, which is why I'm able to just kind of wipe it smooth. But it is also making sure that the metal coating will have a fighting chance to stay wet longer, which gives us a better finish on our patina. So there's three great reasons on why you should use the Sculpt Nouveau prime it when you're using the metal coating process. All right, so I've had enough of the brushing on, so we're going to spray the iron B out. It's just going to be a whole lot easier, and we've done a lot of videos on this. Make sure you strain it to get out any clumps or particles that might clog up the gun. It's just a good tip to have in, in total, but here we're going to spray on the iron B, and those of you who have seen the metal coating process before, remember that you want to do two coats of the iron bead, just like we did two coats of the primate. And of course, 24 hours after doing the primate, you can do the iron bee. You want to make sure that it has time to set up and just an hour between coats. So here we're going to get it nice and coated. And really, I'm just trying to get into all those crevices and whatnot. But we're going to stand it up for the next coats. And, and we just did it this way for this coat. It's a little easier. But we're going to do this on a vertical surface. So here we go. Patina gel and Tiffany green. We've done other videos showing the patina gel. It's a fantastic product that I'm really coming around to. I like using it even when I'm not doing a vertical surface. It honestly just makes things easier in a lot of cases. So we're going to do one to one patina gel to Tiffany green and it's really really thick so make sure when you're measuring this you give it time to settle before you count that as the measurement last thing you want is it to be an ant hill and you actually have you know you just put too much in basically then make sure you mix it up really well but overall there's a video that can talk more in depth about those things so we're going to spray this through the harbor freight sprayer and you can see i'm straining this as well good practice stuff so it doesn't hurt to strain it, it just makes sure that we're not going to have any clumps or any uh, problems. So this is the Harbor Freight sprayer and 
from there, then we can get going. So we'll stand this up and you can see on the top, no patina gel. It's just regular Tiffany green and on the bottom, it's Tiffany green. So first we got to put down our second coat of the metal coating, right? So we need to put a wet coat and we tried to do things as equal as possible, try and get them doing the same thing. So these are two different surfaces done two different times and tried to do everything regular. Now we're spraying on the patina, or the patina. One again, top Tiffany green, bottom Tiffany green with a patina gel. And you can see we're getting a real nice effect on that bottom one. And once again, we tried to keep things all equal, including timeline and whatnot. This is just showing different stages of development. And overall, we got a little bit lighter of a reaction as I was wanting in both pieces, but overall, the Tiffany green with the patina gel turned out a lot nicer, in my opinion. So I would recommend trying the patina gel. I think it worked out real nice. Prime it, Iron B, Metal Coating, Tiffany Green, and Patina Gel are all available at www.sculptnouveau.com.